and welcome to another episode of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Chantelle Seville. We've had some fantastic episodes of Dreams to Reality with people who are living their absolute dreams. Now today is someone who's also living her dreams, but she has something that's really going to help you live your body goals too. So Nick Toth, the Lean Body Coach, is going to teach us about getting rid of stress and excess weight, which um, I don't know if you know, but there's a huge link. So if you're pushing yourself way too hard and wondering why you're not seeing results, Nick is here to tell us why. So welcome all the way from Sydney, Australia, Bondi Beach, Nick Toth, the Lean Body Coach. Hi, Nick. Hi, Chantal. Thanks so much for being on the show. I mean, I've always been really inspired by you. The fact that you're not only a nutritionist, but also a personal trainer. So, you know, you have both bases covered and that gives you the ability to give such great information and expert knowledge and um and now with i mean you've always done the stress thing but that's something that i don't think society knows enough of so um firstly what got you into personal training and nutrition well uh, my own health challenges actually i used to struggle with um pretty severe digestive issues and um i kept putting on weight and i was fatigued tired all the time and i just couldn't figure out why and the doctors never had answers for me so i just went on to um a search to find answers and started learning about nutrition and naturopathy and basically cured myself or helped, um, you know, through nutrition and, uh, and living and changing lifestyle, um, I completely um, changed my life. And then I was so inspired by the changes that I've noticed that I wanted to help people achieve the same results. And I love that. And I mean, I know I've seen you being quoted to say you want to help every woman feel confident in their their selves and their bikini body because it's such a thing in society about bikini body and you have to be skinny and this and that and you know it's really about just feeling good and actually looking after yourself so um, let's get straight into the stress part because I think that's something that probably a lot, a lot of people don't know about and I mean it is the title of the show so what can you give us more insight about the stress and um, mind body nutrition connection yeah, and a weight connection. And I guess I'll go back just one step with you asking about the dream body and the beach body because I think that starts with the enormous pressure that society puts on us that we have to look a certain way. And a beach body might be different for everyone and you don't have to look like a cover girl to be confident in your beach body. And I think that's the number one problem with what women are facing these days is that if they don't look like that, they're immediately stressed and they go on a quest to lose weight and start all these fat diets and diet pills and try um, all these things. And I think that's where it all begins. And then because you go on dieting, your body goes into um, sort of an unsafe mode and starts to actually go into fat storage. So, so, yeah, what is, so what does that mean when it goes into fat, fat storage and how does that yeah. happen? So what we do is um, we live modern society, the way we live, we live a very stressful um, life these days. You know, we have to, especially, you know, women, they have to uh, balance career, um, running a whole family, a household, maybe even studying or doing a lot of things, and put the pressure on top of that by having to look great as well, because that's what we see, right? So, um, so we really stress ourselves out and our life's stressing us out. And we start to produce excess amount of stress hormones. And predominantly the two hormones that we actually, our bodies produce when we're stressed are adrenaline and cortisol. So let's put it this way. Um, if someone frightens you and you have to run away or take action immediately, your body starts to produce adrenaline, right? Your pupils dilate, your blood vessels are, um, I mean, your blood is rushing to your muscles so you can really run away. And the same thing that we experience is actually when we're having coffee. So no, adrenaline. I love my coffee. <laughs> I know. I, know. I say that, but that's the same thing happens. We actually, um, it's the same reaction. So whether it's an actual threat, like someone is chasing you with a gun, or you are actually having your morning cup of coffee and open your inbox and you have two hundred emails in there, it's the same type of stress that you, your body is actually experiencing. Now, over time, when your body is kind of tired and wears out of uh, producing adrenaline, we switch on to another mechanism and start to produce more cortisol, which is like a chronic, long-term, um, low-level stress hormone. And then this hormone actually helps us store uh, weight and, and body fat. It's so kind that it helps us store weight. <laughs> it's so well, kind it's to help us. <laughs> it's literally your body's um, protective mechanism. Mm -hmm. And um, it wants to keep us alive because historically, when we look back in time, 
The only time that we experienced this chronic elevation of stress hormones is when we were without food or it was wars and then we had to really preserve all the nutrients. But today that's not the case. So then how do we go about sort of combating this, this issue or I mean, in society everyone's like run, run, exercise, I need to lose weight, I've got to cut what I'm eating and diet and you know, run a million stairs and get up at five in the morning to do my training. So how, like, how do you work with that? <laughs> yeah, so a great question. Now, everyone's, you know, number one thing is, okay, I'm gonna, I've got to go on a diet and I've got to eat less. So they go on these ventures of drinking shakes and taking diet pills and, and drastically lowering their calories. But that's exactly what your body is already thinking. Your body is already thinking, there's not enough food in the world, so I have to preserve all the nutrients that you're eating. Now you go on a diet and you're just reassuring me exactly what I was thinking. So we're doing the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be doing what um, is taking up restorative forms of exercise. So instead of doing high intensity training, which is also elevating cortisol levels, doing low intensity training like yoga or even just weight training that doesn't really get up our heart rate to that level, but still helps us increase lean body mass, which is what helps us increase metabolic rate and uh, burn more calories long term. So it's a lot to do then with what you eat and then relaxing more than it is pushing yourself? Yes, absolutely. So first of all, take away all the stressors that you're putting on your life. So, you know, you can take away all the stressors that come from life itself. So it's just a matter of how you're dealing with them. But things like lack of sleep is a massive stress on the body. Um, also inflammation and processed food, which create inflammation, a huge stress on the body. Uh, can, so you, can you talk about inflammation? Because it's something that I understand, but to articulate it and from an expert like yourself, it would be amazing if, if you can explain what inflammation actually is Correct. and what it does and how you can sort of prevent it. So the easiest way to explain it, I guess, the simplest way is that inflammation is something, it's your body's response of, to something that's not going well. Now, if your body is inflamed, then your body is going to be constantly fighting inflammation and put a hold on other things such as weight loss or increasing your metabolism because it's, 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 a, it's a process that's going in the body that is not healthy long term. So your body needs to produce anti-inflammatory substances to reduce that inflammation. So processed foods and unhealthy fats, um, too much meat, they actually all cause inflammation or can cause inflammation in the body. So we want to include lots of vegetables, lots of foods that are healthy and go back to things that come from the earth. It's just a very simple way of thinking, going back to 101, food 101, things that grow in the ground, fruits, vegetables, um, whole foods, healthy whole foods, grains. So I, I've been taught once that shop on the outside of the supermarket where all the yeah. sort of vegetables and things are. Can you give us an idea, and I know your website has awesome information on this. I was looking at it actually again yesterday, and you can just literally go on there and click what recipe you want, lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever you like. But what's a rough um, indication of a day of eating a healthy, um, balanced diet from your point of view? Or not diet, a healthy lifestyle, yeah, wellness. Sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Well, yeah, again, so it, it has to be a balanced amount of um, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, which are of the macronutrients that we need in large quantities. So we should not be cutting out any food groups, really. So don't cut out carbohydrates, don't cut out fats, don't cut out protein, because somewhere else you're going to have to make up for it. It's not healthy. We have to have a balance of that. So for example, I always recommend just for general, weight loss, general health and weight loss as well, that we start the day with a healthy, high-fat, high-protein diet or high-fat, high high-protein meal. Because if we start the day with a sugary snack or sugary sweet breakfast, then it's not the best way to set ourselves up from, for, for high um, metabolism and fat burning for the rest of the day. So for example, a good example would be an omelette with some avocado, maybe some, even some salmon um, and some vegetables in that omelette would be a really great breakfast. And so an omelette, I mean, I, I'm just, I, and I, this was me at one point, when, I, when someone said make an omelette, I was like, how do you make an omelette? And I mean, people can Google how to make an omelette, but really for those of you watching, it's as simple as a bit of, I mean, I don't know if you recommend oil or what kind of oil, a tiny bit of oil in the pan, stir up a few eggs, throw in some vegetables, that avocado, and just let it, <laughs> let, it let it fry up for a little while. So yeah, it's not hard, is it? <laughs> 
But I remember yeah. going, how do I do this? I mean, an omelet for breakfast? That's going to take me hours. No, it's actually, I mean, it takes about, you know, five minutes. It's so quick. But Or just even scrambled eggs. It's just chopping some vegetables, throw them all in there, and um, and use a little bit of oil and just, and just fry that. Yeah. And so then really for a, a snack or something, do you have a mid-morning snack? Or what's the what's your next sort of yeah, snack Yeah, look, um, for a mid-morning snack, a snack is literally just a handful of food that will get you through until the next meal, mm. which a handful of nuts will be really great because... For example, walnuts, they, um, they're quite anti-inflammatory because they contain omega-3 fatty acids, which is the same fat that's found in, um, in fish and fish oil tablets, for example. So uh, it's a really good um, anti-inflammatory uh, food. And really easy, just put it in a bag, put in a little Ziploc bag, and you're ready to go. You can always have it on hand. And then with <laughs> eating like this, is that we'll get to sort of lunch and then dinner in a second, but is this also helping your stress by eating really healthy, clean foods? Like your yes, mindset it, and your stress, or yes, well, it reduces um, it reduces that extra stress and burden on the body. So when you when you're fueling your body with whole foods, um, you're getting nutrients. So for example, if you eat a packet of chips, there's not going to be a whole lot of nutrients in there, right? No vitamins, no minerals, nothing that your body can actually recognize as food. But if you eat uh, a bowl of or I don't know, just say sweet potato chips, or eat an omelet, or eat a salad. There are nutrients and vitamins and minerals that your body can take away from that and use it to fuel your nervous system, to fuel your, um, your liver, to fuel your metabolism, your body, your muscles, all kinds of things. So um, it has to be food with nutrients. And packaged and processed foods don't have nutrients. Not many, at least. <laughs> not, not many, definitely not. And I think the younger that people can start to realize this and be educated and eat like it is is so important but we're going to take a short break and come back after the break with some more information on how to reduce stress and uh, and weight as well as learn all about nick's upcoming retreats to bali so stay tuned for the savvy chick show we'll be with you in a moment hello my name is crystal let me tell you my talk show i'm all about health it's healthy to talk about sex it's healthy to talk about things that people don't talk about it's healthy to discuss things that you think are unhealthy because you need to talk about it so i welcome you to watch quok talk and engage in some provocative discussions on things that do relate to healthy issues and have a well-balanced attitude in life join me Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage, which is on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with artists about not only what they do and how they do it, but the meat of the conversation for me is why they do it, why we go through this. A lot of us are not making our livings doing this, and a lot of us would do this with our last dying breath if we had that choice. And that's what I love to talk to people about. I hope you enjoy watching it, and I hope you get inspired because there's an artist inside you too. Join us on Center Stage at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bye. Aloha and welcome back to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. Thanks for tuning in today. Really excited to have a fantastic guest, Nick Toth, who is the Lean Body Coach. And she is an expert. She's a qualified nutritionist, personal trainer, and wellness coach. So who better to get your knowledge from than a great source itself? Because when it comes to health and wellness, I don't know about you, but there are so many messages out there, and you just don't know where to begin. So welcome back, Nick, and we're looking forward to hearing more. Thank you. Hi, Chantal. Hi. So before the break, we were talking about breakfast and some snacks. So can you just give us a quick indication of what you might have for lunch or dinner? I know if people watching this, just go to your website. Um, we're putting it on the screen there throughout the show because it has lots of information and recipes. But just while you're tuning in, what are some things to have for lunch or supper, dinner, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are in the world? Yeah, so for, for lunch, I generally recommend something that's pretty easy to throw together. And you can do it the night before, or even just use some leftovers, or if you, um, if you can grab a, you know, a packet of salad, um, maybe add some feta cheese, which I know people really like cheese, and it gives that nice extra salty flavor mm. to it. Um, also adding some chicken, um, and just lots of vegetables. So anything, I, use, I always use the analogy, the rainbow colors. So the more vegetables, the more colors you can have in a salad, the more nutrient you're going to be getting out of it. And I personally always like an extra crunch, so I throw some uh, uh, sunflower seeds in there, pumpkin seeds in there that are really nice and crunchy and give it that good salad texture and just dress it with lemon juice, olive oil, and a little bit of garlic. So how I make my dressing, for example, is just um, juice half a lemon, 
add a little bit of olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, and just press a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, shake it up in a shaker, like in a little jar. And then that's it. You can always take that to work and just pour it on a salad when you're ready to go. Perfect. And I mean, when you make it at home, it costs a lot less than when you're buying them at the store. But that's a great recipe. So we'll have to, I'll have to watch this episode again to get that recipe. Um, okay, so <laughs> when it comes to exercise, I mean, when you said with the stress management, sometimes it's about slowing down. What do you recommend or de is it depending on who you are or what type of fitness level you're at or what do you recommend? Well, first of all, whatever you enjoy. <laughs> because if you don't enjoy it, if you hate it, if you drag it, go into the gym, you're not going to do it. So if, especially if you're someone who's struggling to get their exercise done, first they choose something that they may be wanting to be trying for a long time and they haven't got around to doing it. Whether you're playing tennis, going for a swim, or going to a Zumba class, or going to yoga class, whatever really makes you happy and leaves you or leaves you fulfilled and happy and um, and relaxed after that session, and feeling like you actually you also did a did a good workout. But I always recommend, especially for anti anti aging and um, and longevity, that you do some form of great weight or resistance training, because. Cardio alone doesn't help you build muscle, and weight training does. And big when muscles build, on. <laughs> oh, that's it. You wanna, everyone wants to look, wants to have that definition. They want to look like they go to the gym. So you're not gonna get that. You're not gonna achieve that by doing cardio. You need to do weight training, and that will help you slow down the aging process as well and keep you keep you young. Because I know a lot of people that will be like, I exercise and I go to all the classes or I run all the time. And this is what I always found interesting about you and and learning more um, through our conversations is that. You know, you, you do know the nutrition aspect and the personal training, and it does have a lot more to do with what you eat than the training you're yeah. doing. Like, what, what balance or ratio do you think that is? They say 80-20, or what, what is it in your mind? Yeah, something along those lines. You can't out-train a bad diet. No matter how much you exercise, ex exercise twice a day, if you go home and you're going to eat bad foods, um, it's not, it's not going to do you any favors. So it's probably about 80% nutrition and then 20% of what, how you, what you train. So if you I really focus, clients, oh sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I work with clients who are unable to exercise due to injuries or, um, or they simply just really don't have the time to exercise every single day. And if they change their nutrition and what they eat and how much they eat, um, they still get the same results as, a, as the clients who are exercising and training their butt up every day, but they have those little bad days sneak in and they're not committed to the nutrition part. That's huge. I mean... Anyone who watches a replay of this, rewind that, because that's huge and very true. Um, with, I mean, you've had so many success stories exactly as you're going into. Can you share one or two of clients who have experience? Because you created the Lean Body Method to really help people create amazing, healthy, and well lifestyles. Um, could you yeah, share some examples of where people started and, and where you got them to? Yeah, and, and I wish I had some pictures ready for you, but I've worked with a lot of women um, in their 40s and 50s and say, you know, Nick, I'm not really expecting miracles here. Um, if I can just lose a couple of kilos, I'll be happy. And they end up losing five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 kilos by the end of 10 weeks without going, um, you know, to the gym twice a day or doing any type of craziness. Um, and they think, you know, the metabolism slows down after 40 and 50. And you can actually change that. You can change that very, very quickly. And these women are tired, they have hormonal imbalance, they, they, they're fatigued all the time because they're not getting the right nutrition. And when you're fatigued and tired, you're not going to be motivated to work out. You're not going to be motivated to eat well. So it starts with going backwards, addressing, getting your body what it needs, giving it right nutrition and right fuel, and then you're going to start feeling good and energized and motivated to also go to the gym. And I know myself, when I eat really well, I feel so much more confident. And then you want to train more and you have more energy. So it's just like this domino yeah. effect. And it, it starts with either either. You know, if you're more conscious about your training and then you eat well or you eat well and then you're more conscious about your training. And, um, yeah, and, you know, what's really exciting is you have this retreat coming up in Bali to help people really kickstart a lifestyle. How did that come about? And um, can you tell us about the retreat and what you'll be doing on it? Yeah, so I went, some things, I went to a retreat last year and it changed my life. And, um, and I said, oh my God, I, I have to show this to the world. I have to show this to my clients and I have to bring them along because um, when you go away from home, you're really able to put everything behind and just focus on yourself. And that's really important when, when you want to change, when you want to change, want to make a lifestyle change and you want long-term results. So you really set your goals, figure out what your goals are because what I find is that the goals that people set up 
are very disconnected to what they're actually doing at the moment to get there. And when we come, when we, when we go to this retreat or my retreat, we're going to be doing daily yoga. We're going to learn how to meditate. We're going to learn how to visualize and set these goals that we can actually achieve and how to achieve them. And also going to connect on a level that is usually not, it doesn't happen in society anymore because we're not really always on our phones. We're always distracted by so many things. But when we're actually in a beautiful place like Bali, um, we can relax, we can put those distractions away and we can focus on ourselves, eat beautiful, healthy food, juices every day and cleanse our body and cleanse our mind as well. And so once people come on the retreat, so do, is it, um, so basically is it how week long or how long is it? How long does it Yes, take? six days long, five nights and we're going to be doing, I'll give you a bit of itinerary sneak peek. <laughs> um, we're going to wake up first thing in the morning and we have a morning elixir which is a fresh made juice with lots of turmeric that helps us set up antioxidants for the day and get us energy. And then we do a high intensity training session for 30 minutes. We'll do a yoga session. And it doesn't matter what level yoga, even if you've never done yoga before, you're gonna be able to do it. Um, and then we do a short meditation and a beautiful healthy breakfast. And then we could do a group training, um, group uh, coaching session. So we all get together, we talk about our goals and how we actually go on to achieve them. And then during the day, you get lots of time to chill out by the pool, get some sun, and enjoy the beautiful um, local, you know, Balinese food or culture. And then in the evening, we're doing a group coaching session again and an evening activity, which is um, highly secretive because it's going to be involving moving your body as well as connecting with other uh, people on the retreat. Highly secretive. I like it. And only one person is allowed. There's, you only have one spot left. So if there's one person watching this, you'll get to find out what the highly secretive activity is. Is there still one well, spot left? Was it? Yes, there's one spot left um, and the rest of them are filled. But we're really excited to have someone else join this amazing group of women because it's going to be really, really special. And um, if you've been looking for a kickstart or something to really push that reset button, this is really going to be transformational. Actually, there's a lot of Australians. I mean, I know there's, I'm sure, Americans and Canadians, but I definitely know there's always Australians in Bali. They might be able. So does it, it starts this Friday or? No, no, no. So it starts on the 23rd of October. So oh, there's 23rd. still time to apply. Um, it's always uh, by application only because we want to make sure that we have an amazing group. And, um, and yeah, that's why the program is application only. So I get on the phone with uh, everyone who applies and, and then, you know, answer all their questions and make sure that they're also the right fit. I would like to come, but I think I might accidentally have a baby on your retreat, so I best I stay here yes. in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> you come on the next one. We'll I'll do come. One. Yeah, so will there be um, other retreats coming up that if people don't get on this one, they can get on to? Yeah, so um, I partnered up with uh, My Tea Journey, and together we're going to be hosting retreats uh, around the world. And we're thinking about um, Hawaii as one of the destinations because some clients in the U.S. probably may be too far for them, but, you know, Hawaii is kind of in between. Hawaii is perfect for a retreat. It's amazing here. I mean, I absolutely love living here on the island. Um, so we're going to have to stay tuned so people can watch your website and see when the next retreats are coming up. And then they can also go to your website and work with you. Do you still do one-on-ones or is it just your pro the Lean Body Formula program? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so what I'm actually doing now is um, starting early November, I'm starting a 28-day challenge, which is going to be a Lean Body Accelerator Challenge. So can you learn how to reset your digestion how to detox your body and actually lose those two pant sizes or dress sizes by the time while well, summer comes here in Australia or winter for you guys over there. It's a lot easier when you keep yourself fit through the winter than having to get ready and work for it. And I think it's just a, it's part of a lifestyle. You know, you should always uh, just work to be and be healthy and be yourself. Not oh, it's winter, the winter coat, or it's summer and beach body. It should be ready all year round, in my point of view. Just be ready and healthy and feeling good about yourself. I'm going to ask you a question that I hadn't exactly planned to ask you, but it is something that we have a lot of young girls watching the show. And so what would be your advice to any young woman or girl who wants to pursue a career in your industry? Do you have some insight or advice for them? Yes, absolutely. Go for it. If you have an, if, if you have an interest in it, it will always serve you. No matter if you, even, even if you don't end up working with clients, you will learn so much about your body. We are, we have this one body, right? We're given this one body. And we, many people spend 30, 40, 50 years not even knowing how it actually works. So many of us don't know how our bodies work and what our bodies need is fuel. So that should be number one thing taught in schools, to how to fuel our bodies with nutrition. 
So if that's something you can go ahead and learn and go and study further, absolutely do it because you're going to be able to pass it on to your family, your friends, and people will benefit around you, whether you end up working with clients or you just um, help yourself and your family. Great answer. Thanks. I think that's perfect because, I mean, you, you can only better yourself, really. And as you said, if you don't go in that direction, it's still going to make you better for it. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with health and fitness. And before we wrap up, last question is, what's your last reminder or piece of advice for those watching the show today that want to um, reduce that stress and excess weight and start today? Um, great question. If I, if I had to think of one thing, um, be kind to yourself and don't be too hard on yourself. Because if you are, all that triggers is more guilt. And when you're feeling guilty, you tend to eat worse foods. And what you put in your body is really a reflection on um, how kind you are to yourself. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nick. Thanks for you know your time because I know how busy you are at the moment. So it's been absolutely great having you on the Savvy Chick show. Uh, next time, we'll have to... Uh, put a shout out to more people to call into the show because we just had too much information to share today. So we'll have to have you on again sometime, Nick. And um, until next time, aloha, good luck with your retreats. And if you want to connect with Nicole, you can find her on our websites below. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Aloha.